Well, we had one final soaking rainstorm to finish out 2018. In the wake of that storm, we've just got cloudy skies and a little bit of light drizzle here along the I-44 corridors. The cold front's going through right now. Rainfall total since midnight, pretty impressive, uh, especially near and north of I-44, where many spots picked, between, picked up between one and two inches of rainfall. A couple of weather watch reports just to sort of fill in the gaps here. This is deceptively low. This total reported in Branson. We had a weather watch is there Daryl reporting just shy of a half an inch and in Ava uh, Therese reporting a little over three quarters of an inch of rainfall. So again, a good soaking and up in uh, Benton County, uh, it was enough so that we actually had a little bit of localized flooding. Uh, you can see this uh, driveway covered with water uh, due to an overflowing creek right there. And, and that scene was probably repeated in other locations as well, especially uh, near and north of I-44, because this isn't the only round of heavy rain we've uh, had. We've had other uh, rounds of heavy rainfall for the month of December and here in Springfield we actually picked up over four inches and uh, as far as the record books go it looks like December is going to go down as a wet and mild month. We picked up uh, an inch above what we should have seen for the month of December. Saying goodbye to that storm. Cold front moving through right now. It's squeezing out a little bit of drizzle. Cold air will slowly work in behind that cold front but once it gets here it's going to lock in at least for a few days. Uh, looks like temperatures tonight ultimately dropping into the upper 20s, about 28 uh, for a low tomorrow morning. And then they won't really warm that much. Uh, looks like a, a scenario very similar to late last week. Remember Friday, the clouds rolled in after the cold air had moved in and temperatures didn't budge during the day. And I think that's what we're going to find tomorrow with afternoon highs around 30, maybe 31 degrees with cloudy skies throughout the day and a bit of a breeze too out of the northwest at 5 to 15 miles per hour. Now, as far as the pattern is concerned, we're, we're seeing the cold air come in now. We've got another storm that's going to be moving across the region later this week, and uh, it's really going to create some forecasting headaches because as it stands, it looks like the models are, are coming in line with a general idea of the track and the intensity of the storm, but temperatures are going to be very marginal as the storm moves through. So it could be rain or it could be snow. And before we get to the storm actually moving through, there's going to be a chance at some light rain trying to spread across northern Arkansas, maybe into southernmost Missouri Wednesday night. And it may be just cold enough, at least in a few spots, for the potential of a little bit of light freezing rain as well, although I think any impacts would be minimal with that event. That rain should move out by Thursday morning. And Thursday, for the most part, looks like it's just going to be a mostly cloudy and, and chilly day with afternoon highs near 40. And then the upper level storm storm moves across the area Thursday night through Friday morning and this upper level storm is going to bring with it and it's also going to be creating its own cold air. So it looks like at least in in a stripe there could be enough cold air in place for some snow and possibly some accumulating snows. But again, it's too early to call exactly whether or not that will shake out and how much we might see if that were to occur. Right now, it's just a potential. Looking at our seven day forecast, again, a cold forecast for Wednesday, 32, 39 on Thursday, rain or snow Thursday night into Friday morning, and then the uh, storm moves out of the area. And we're back to sunshine and quiet weather this upcoming weekend. Calling for highs in the 50s uh, and lows in the 30s. If we do happen to get snow, though, Thursday night into Friday morning and it accumulates, I'll have to trim back those highs somewhat. But right now, looking very iffy as to whether or not we're going to see snow or rain out of that storm. Can't complain about uh, temperatures potentially in the 50s, though. It's yeah, a good way to start this 2019. Is, this is not a bad for even tomorrow. 30 for a high mm -hmm. isn't isn't the bitterly cold kind of weather we could be looking at for the first exactly. day of, of like, January. Like last year. Last year we had a high of 15 on the first. Yeah, no. Yeah. I'm happy with what we have this year. Yep. Viewers Club number, Jamie. Yeah, Viewers Club number for tonight is 151578, the jackpot $1,300. Keep in mind, tomorrow is a holiday for not only uh, most of the nation, but also for the TV station. So if you happen yes. to have that winning number, call in on Wednesday. All right, hopefully someone wins that money. Yep. Right. Hopefully Thanks, so. Jamie. Thank you, Jamie.